Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Bring Your of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, I'm so glad you're here. Today is Angel Reading Monday and we are getting started on your angel reading for today. So today is April 24th, but whenever you are seeing this reading, whenever it's crossing your feed, it is for you. These are timeless. Okay, so you take what resonates for you, leave anything that doesn't. Feel free to look at other angel readings on my channel for, because they are timeless, they're for whatever you need when you need it. Okay, so you just feel free to browse through and see if any other ones resonate for you as well. People seem to really love these. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're looking at your strength at this time. We're looking at your what your heart wants to tell you. And we're looking at any challenge or something that you're still working through. So you take what resonates for you. Leave anything that doesn't. Definitely comment below and let me know how this resonated for you and if you like this style of reading. Okay, so let's begin. I have my coffee here. There is nothing that I love better than coffee and cards. So... Okay, <clears throat> my friends watching this reading right now, what do they need to know? What is their strength at this time? What is their message that you want them to know today? Whoa, oh my gosh. <sighs> wow, <laughs> this flew on the floor. <laughs> Vulnerability and freedom. It looks to me like this reminds me of the star card in the tarot. And it looks to me like your angels want you to know <laughs> that your superpower right now is your, first of all, your connection to spirit, your connection to your in, your inner wisdom, your intuition. You are all things connected right now, connected to your spiritual team, your angels, your guidance. And you have set yourself free recently, looks like. You have set yourself free from things that no longer serve you from things that are just not right for you anymore it looks like you've really set yourself free and that vulnerability i feel like that is just really it might have been difficult for you it might have been difficult for you to set yourself free you know so to speak however however it fits for your situation it looks to me like you have set yourself free literally from things that held you back from people places or things that held you back or made you feel stuck or just were not working for you anymore and you've literally set yourself free from anything that didn't that held you back from where you're going where your angels are taking you and this is your strength right now so you should really be patting yourself on the back because your angels are acknowledging that this is your superpower right now as hard as it might have been for you difficult you know sometimes especially if it was people or maybe you've gone through a loss and it was hard for you but it made you stronger and your your angels are acknowledging that your superpower at this time is your freedom and is your strength and is choosing you. Whatever it is that you had to let go of to set yourself free, you chose you. You aligned with your own truth and you chose you. You followed your heart, you followed your guidance, and that is your strength right now. You may be going through a, a little bit of a period of kind of like a, you know, the transition period, maybe a little bit rocky, maybe a little challenging, maybe just a little bit uncomfortable because change is uncomfortable, but know that your angels are shouting for you. They are celebrating, they are patting you on the back because, and they want you to know that this is your superpower, even if it doesn't feel like it right now. Your freedom and your choice to follow your heart is your superpower at this time. So well done. That's awesome. I have chills all the way down my arms and my legs. I know I can feel that they are so proud of you. They are so acknowledging how hard it was for you to do this. And in doing so though, it really, really set you free. And now it opens the door for things that you cannot imagine to, to, to present themselves in your experience doors will open for you new opportunities will be coming for you new freedom you're like advancing to a new level and you're going to start seeing in your experience things that reflect that you know and so your angels really want you to know that even if it is feels 
kind of challenging right now or feels like you're in this transition phase where you don't really know you're kind of in between you know you don't really know where you're going but you know what you left behind and it's a little bit you know <clears throat> It's like you're going through a bit of a grieving process, right? And you're moving forward, but you're not there yet, so you're not really sure. But your angels want you to know that you just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing everything right. You made the right choice. This is your strength at this time. And you will start to see why you did what you did. Because it's going to ignite a lot of new things for you that you didn't have before. So let's look at what your heart wants you to know right now. Ease and grace has come up for you. Now, this actually was my card of the day today on Instagram. So one of them, there's two. So ease and grace, your heart wants you to know, just really stay grounded right now. This person is grounded. They're in alignment with their truth, which you are because you chose your truth. That is your superpower. Stay in alignment with your truth. Stay in alignment with like choosing peace. Really notice in your experience what feels peaceful, what doesn't, and stay with the peace. Stay with the peace. Really aligning yourself with that, aligning yourself back into yourself, breathing through. We're in Mercury retrograde right now. Whenever you're reading, you're, whenever this reading is coming across your feed and whenever you're watching it, right now we have a lot of planetary alignments going on. We have a lot of planetary energy right now. We just had a new moon. We have Mercury retrograde. We're starting, we're now in Taurus season. There's a lot going on. Okay, and really needing to stay with the flow. You chose your freedom. And it might be, you might be feeling the opposite of ease and grace right now. But know that you're in a transition. Your heart is telling you just breathe through it. Breathe through anything that comes up. Stay in your peace. Choosing peace every day. What feels peaceful to you, you know? And know that you are just, in doing so, it creates more ease and flow. And you want to stay in the flow because life flows. And you're flowing, even if it doesn't feel like you are, you are flowing. And the more you can just come into your own, you know, uh, reground yourself into your own self, the more ease and the more grace and the more flow you will personally feel. So just stay grounded. Do things that will help you be grounded every day, like taking a walk out in nature, connecting with nature, walking in the grass barefoot, hugging a tree, <laughs> you know, all the things that everybody says to, to be grounded, but also just breathing through things, breathing through your emotions, acknowledging your emotions that come up if you've let go of people that was hard for you acknowledge that your emotions are valid okay your feelings are valid acknowledging them breathing through them staying in alignment with your peace is what your heart wants you to know today <clears throat> what is their challenge what are you what is the rest of their message in what you want them to work on or what their challenge might be at this time what do you want them to know? Wow, a lot. <laughs> okay, like we were saying before, we have live your joys. This is kind of along the same lines as what your heart wants you to know. So it may be a little bit, your, your reading today is more like, a, it's kind of like your superpower, your heart, and your challenge all in one. So right now, really living your joy is choosing your peace, choosing to continue choosing your peace, choosing your truth. Whatever feels right to you, that's what you want to choose. Anything that doesn't feel right to you, say no. Don't be afraid to say no and choose what feels good. You know, choose what feels joyful. Follow your bliss. And really choosing that is maybe a challenge for you right now. And it's maybe something that you're continuing to work for, work through in this situation that you find yourself in. Really choosing the things that feel good. All right. And thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. Follow those things that feel good to you. Choosing that joy. Choosing. It, it really is a choice. It's a choice to, to choose joy, you know, especially in these times that we're living in right now. It can be very challenging just to get through a day. 
but you, your intuition, your body always knows. It, it will always tell you the things that don't feel good, they're not for you. And right now we're, we're really going through a time of really coming into alignment with our truth, you know, and our truth is those things that feel good. You'll know, you'll know. So you want to follow that. Okay. And we have two more cards here. Very, very powerful archangels showing up for you. You're going through a period. <clears throat> you have Archangel Raphael here healing you. Excuse me. <clears throat> so maybe some of you are challenged right now in speaking your truth. Maybe there's a breakdown in communication. It is Mercury retrograde at the time of recording this. So, so that's not surprising, right? Breathe through, breathe through it, you know, but know that you have two very powerful archangels here. One of them is Archangel Haniel, who is the archangel that helps you be in touch with your psychic abilities, your intuition, really, really hearing your guidance and your inner wisdom being connected. Okay. And you have Archangel Raphael here. You, he's with you, healing you. So as a side note, if there's anything that you're going through that's challenging in your health, know that Archangel Raphael is here to say your health is improving. You have healing light surrounding you and you can visualize that. This green light, he comes in this green light and you can visualize it enveloping you. Send it to the places in your body that you need it. He's here for you and he's a very powerful Archangel. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. And it's a healthy mind and healthy emotions because we have, we were talking about that before, honoring your emotions, acknowledging your emotions, knowing that your feelings are valid and, and breathing through any challenges that it takes for you to choose your joy. Really choosing those feelings that feel good. Like I was saying, your body always knows. You will feel your joy. You will feel if something isn't right. And you want to really stand in your power, knowing that you have archangels around you, supporting you, protecting you, guiding you, and, and healing you. And knowing that, that you're supported, step into that power of knowing that you're supported and really choosing to follow those good feelings that feel peaceful and joyful. Follow your peace. Really pay attention to your feelings this week and choose the ones that feel good. And if somebody sucks your energy, if somebody feels toxic and makes you feel drained or makes you feel uncomfortable or makes you feel other anything other than peace and joy, happiness, then you want to maybe think about cutting that tie not participating in that situation anymore, okay? But honor your feelings and know that they are always right. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. So following your joy, pat, patting yourself on the back for choosing your freedom, for choosing to follow your joy, for choosing to follow your peace. What a beautiful message for you today. I love this for you today. So join me every every Monday for your Angel Reading Monday. And definitely comment below and let me know how this fit for your situation and how it resonated for you. If you want to join my tribe, that link is down below. If you want to a book a, par a private reading, we can do an Angel Reading. Whatever you need, you email me and we can go from there. And I will see you next week.